My name is Stephanie Mendoza. I have been coming to Discovery since 2017. I grew up Catholic, so tithing really wasn't installed in our family. We would give like $5, $10. So it was whatever we felt we wanted to give. When I said yes to, you know, Pastor Jason's challenge of giving God your one year, um, he slowly started convicting me of my tithing and I realized that the money that I was earning was not mine, it was God's. My thoughts on the Unstoppable Initiative were, wow, this is where we're at. Um, I can't wait, but how am I going to contribute? My best friend had just moved out, so my finances were a little different. I wasn't too sure how I, want, I was going to contribute, but I knew I wanted to. I remember um, just looking at my finances, looking at my budget, and nothing really was adding up. So I, I prayed on it and just held on to faith, and I knew that God would move somehow. So my employer during that moment um, had, I had went into a different position and I ended up getting an, an increase, but it was an increase that was besides me. I, it was something I couldn't have imagined. And not only that, that day, I ended up getting another call that they had messed up on the number and they were going to give me more. The first thing that came to my mind was like, geez, God, like, this is you, like this is all you, like I couldn't have done this. The number that they gave me, I just, I couldn't have ever imagined or even felt deserving. At one point I was like, I don't deserve this, you know? I don't deserve God to move like this in my life, but God sat me in that moment and was like, no daughter, you do. You have been faithful in your tithing. You have trusted me in your finances. And he knew my heart. He knew that I wanted to give more to our church. And, and this was my way, this was my path. And at one point I saw myself being so greedy and saying, I can't give that 10% of my check to God. And as soon as he started convicting me, somehow my finances fell into place and it just was part of it just turned around. I continue to see his blessing time after time and this is just another testimony of how he has blessed me through just being obedient. Leaving a legacy to me never really meant too much before I got to discovery and now I find myself thinking, you know, the legacy that I will leave behind is my faith. It's my, it's my community, it's that writing on the floors at the children's church that I bear fruit in. And it may, it may not have been too much at that time, a, you know, a little bit as much as I could, but it was something. So it is that, it is being able to be part of something bigger than me and greater than me and just fulfilling to my father. It's whoever is watching this and is listening, like we don't have nothing to lose. Why would you not want to be part of the unstoppable? Just, I'm going to call it a movement. This is a moment that we get to be part of where we get to change our community. And even if there's a little bit that you can do, you have no idea how much that's going to go. I don't think God looks at the amount. I think he looks at your heart. I don't think, I know he does. <laughs> um, and if you just feel that knock on the door, open it. You know, I'm not going to promise blessings because I don't know what God has in store for you, but I, what I will promise is that he's a faithful father and he will not disappoint you.